you very much for the three months, the dude. The Windbreaker ain't bad, Lackey. Alrighty, Jen, hello. Call me Ishmael, hello. Hey, T dubs. Hey, Zip Zipskins. And then your answer becomes the absolute new truth. Yeah, absolutely. Then, like, there's some video of me on YouTube with like 20,000 views where I claim to think that strawberries are my favorite fruit. And like five years later at a convention, a fan brings me a like fresh bucket of strawberries and I'm like, uh, thank you. And they're like, you know, cause they're your favorite fruit. And I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> and then I throw them out cause I'm absolutely <laughs> not eating <laughs> Food that's brought to me by fans at conventions. Anyway, um, <clears throat> how's it going, Five Four? Kill the lights thanks the four months. Song Bomo show to you too. Wow. Little tea grew hollow. Am I moving to New Zealand by boat? No. Name Justin Marco. Hello. He twenty six lands. He major laser. He's Slytherin head boy. Have I seen Divinity Chronicles: Journey to the West on Steam? I have not. Steven hacking, hello. You can't believe I said you should send me cookies and then I didn't eat them when you sent them. Did I say you should send them? Hey, very big brain. Hey, Kavatha. Maybe I was enabling your desire to cook for someone. Hey, I know. Already done things the 14 months. Caitlin enjoyed them. Ruse Munch, hello. He's a tenny. The last time I went to a convention, which was not super recently, let's be clear about how well conventions have been doing as events over the last year or so, but the last time I went to a convention, I was in the main hall at TwitchCon and I had a table and I was next to Choco Bars, who I had like heard of but didn't know super well or anything. And we were like at the same table, so she had one side of the table and I had the other, sort of. And her line was like at least a hundred people long to meet her. It was like very impressive. And like she like was... She was smiling and laughing and talking to everybody just non-stop for the full hour that we were there. It was an hour and a half, I don't know. And I think I had a total of like 10 to 15 people <laughs> over the entire course of the hour. Did I talk to Choco Bars? Uh, she's, she was a little bit busy. <laughs> she was a little bit busy. I have since played Among Us with her though. She's lovely. She's a wonderful person. You should probably not ship real human beings. UUDR. It leads to the dark side of the forest. I actually, during that hour, I like had, let's see, Filthy Robot was there with me, Caitlyn was there with me, Slissa came in and hung out for a bit. I think I left Caitlyn with my booth for like five minutes and then just went and talked to Kibler for a while, because Kibler also had a booth and didn't have a ton of people there. I don't think myself and Kibler are quite like the convention crowd. We're more the like 25 year old plus has a full time job sort of viewer crowd a little bit. Hey, escapist. Can you ship me if I become a boat? Um, no. If I become a boat, I will ship myself. Ooh. I don't love taking rebound. But if I'm going to take it, it's a pretty decent one to get an upgrade on. Did I elude Interpol the other day? I have no idea what you're talking about. What is Interpol? 
university student here. Also some university students for sure. I mean, I don't know. I don't have like a strong brand alignment with Twitch. I feel like my fans would come meet me at a bar to hang out. I've done that before. It was fun. And they'd be like about as likely to do that as they would be to go to TwitchCon and then meet me at TwitchCon because I don't think my fans are super like aligned with Twitch's brand. What do I know though? I'm scared of going this way. I sort of want to rest before the elite fight. Because Gremlin Knob can one shot us from here. Interpol is the opposite of outer pole. That was simultaneously enlightening and useless. Yeah, the ending's the 40 months. I'm show to you too. Should probably take a leap. It is a guardian act. I already have upgraded sweeping beam, upgraded rebound, and ball lightning. Plus, I got an upgrade on zap, so my deck deals quite a lot of damage. And I have no ability to block against Lagavulin or sentries or against guardian. So all of these things make me think we just need a block card right now. We did get Gremlin though. Let's see how this goes. Twelve. It's exactly lethal. Well! Well done, us. Threw the zap just barely in time. What's my dream concert when it's possible to go to one again? Mm. 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 I'm gonna take a Sunder. I don't really want to. Just take a first compile driver. I don't know, it feels weird to skip there, but also none of the options seemed very good. I'm trying to remember a concert that I've gone to at any point in my life that was actually like good in any way. God, it seems like such a long time ago that I like went out for live music. I think jazz clubs have been my best live music experience. Yeah, the cash register. Core Surge or Cool Headed? That's tough. I'm gonna take Core Surge and we'll just trust. Trust in the deck's ability to be offered block cards in the future. Because I sort of can't take damage cards anymore. I took all of the ones that I can take, I think.
Let's just wait on the Stark Orb for a bit in the Lagavulin fight. Here, Tresus. Starting next turn seems fine. Or not. <laughs> um, let's go... Rebound on Leap, I guess. If I draw dual cast, I pretty commonly can kill next turn. And a mummified hand, okay. No powers though. You'd like to go to a concert except it's just Jorbs on stage playing Spire. It sounds sweet. I saw Flight of the Concords three times in concert. That was really awesome all three times. They're very, very good live. Or at least they were. Apple juice. I think in this situation, I'm okay. Since I don't really have a great upgrade, I'm okay with just taking some damage. And then we will rest before Guardian, and that way I can carry some potions into next act, maybe. If I get a good power, or like a glacier or something, maybe I end up not having to rest here. Imagine a huge arena with 100,000 people and Jorb says hello to everyone before starting. I would like be out front saying hello to people an hour before the show, but then I'd have to, you know, go get ready. Also, I would obviously have an armed security detail. Yacht. And then tell her say hello to everyone after the show. I could do that too, I guess. New pattern shirt. I don't feel dialed in right now. The deck's sort of bizarre. I don't know if this has to rest before Guardian, and I like can't tell. The Dark Orb's good, but everything else about the deck is just sort of shit. <laughs> it has no block whatsoever. Guardian fight sort of requires a block. I think I'm meant to rest. I feel like that would be difficult for my ego, the eventual realization that most of the people at JorbsCon were there just to see mini Jorbs. Your dad saw Jimi Hendrix live. That is very cool. Well, Andy McKee was really good live too. I saw him as an opener for Eric Clapton, I believe. Is that the guy with the Cliffs of Dover? I think so. It was a strange show. My girlfriend at the time was one of only like five women in the audience or something. Apparently just not, not really the music that women are into these days. I don't know. I don't know. Cliff's with Dover is Eric Johnson. Fuck. 
Did I have the wrong Eric? Anyway, I was there for Andy McKee. Oh yeah, you're definitely right. Hey, the Plasma Wolf. I don't really want to reshuffle. Probably just something like this is good. I did not need to rust, it turns out. to play Rylan. I bought an acoustic guitar to learn how to play Rylan. I got the first two-thirds of it down pretty well. Stuff at the end was very hard to like make sound like it was deliberate and musical. <laughs> I didn't quite understand how to pull that off. If you make rock music and your songs are all at least 15 minutes long, you're doing something wrong. Hmm. I think largely the reason that music is the length that it is, is to conform to... Like, lengths of records. Which is no longer relevant. Well, also like playtime on radios, I guess. I feel like music is confined by the medium that it is consumed by. Hey, running thought. You only listen to live opera? Do you know an opera singer? I feel like that would heavily limit my ability to listen to music. Darth Bob thinks of the 17 months. I'm going to show to you too. Bias Cognition and Core Surge hang out after work. I think Core Surge is Bias Cognition's father. That's my opinion. Core Surge dies so that Biased Cognition may succeed. I'm trying to convince myself that I can do something other than take Sozu here, but I'm struggling. I have a blue candle that doesn't really help. With Mummified Hand and no two cost cards, it feels unnecessary to take a fourth energy, especially when it removes all potions for the rest of the game, which is a huge drawback. But on the other hand, I don't think Empty Cage or Falling Bell or anything exciting here, so. Just removing two strikes seems pretty good, although I can like do that at a store. Let's go Sozu. It's not terrible. It wants us to find copies of Cool Headed Plus. I don't know if we're gonna do that. If we did though, it would be sweet. Can I go this way or will I die? I have no block, no block and relics. No sustain. I think I'm gonna go this way. Ancient T set is block if you squint a bit. I feel like you would have to squint quite a lot. 
Maybe more than a bit. Lethal, nice. Heat sinks. So I have a mummified hand, making heat sinks appealing. I have one power in my deck, <laughs> making heat sinks less appealing. I could take it and then just buy any power in the store. So there's a good one. Okay, this is a pretty good storm. Buy capacitor. Hard remove and buy toolbox, I think. Although cool headed's pretty good. But we can find a frost orb. I'm a strong believer in our ability to find a frost orb here. Developed a huge crush on toolbox. Cool. Oh, that's helpful. The turn was looking pretty bad until that happened. FTL, nice. That works. Hey, Berserka! You're out walking your cat. You're out walking your cat. Cool. I never super dislike boot sequence. Like, it's always okay. The mummified hand heat sink stack. It might be a fast enough deck that we don't really want a boot a boot sequence here though. Mm, I'll take it. I have like no block. Re. No worries works for me. Deck is almost good, Scrubby. Deck needs some block. Once it finds some block, it will be quite good. You feel like the book event gives Necronomicon 85% of the time. That is a very specific number, which is incredibly clearly incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sort of funny. <laughs> J.A. Otter! Oh, 
Hologram. Because I took Nilrays, I think I should be resting here. Stacks out. Injury. Regret. Stack again. Regret. Creative AI. One in five. Oh. That would have been a good one to have. Oh well. Too bad. wonder how much damage I take in an Act 2 Elite fight right now. Digital Bastard. Thank you for the four months. I'm show to you as well. Thanks, Bazarka. Cool-headed or static discharge. Must take cool-headed at this point, I think. A little bit unfortunate. I do need a frost orb at some point in the run. Sure. Ooh, this is scary. This is a French dessert. True. Not sure how you knew that. a dessert, what dessert would he be? Fifty... I don't think it's enough. Problem is that next turn exists. Let's see, fifty is fifteen. Wait, it's actually plus twenty five, isn't it? I have it. Fifty. Ten, twenty-five. 
A loop. Sure. Ooh. 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 Ooh, those are good here. Right? Pretty sure those are good here. Have to be a little bit careful about dying turn one to the heart, but turn two to the heart. Tori helps. I think upgrades on the powers is more than I'm going to get out of a uh, hallway. When are bites good in a deck in general? Now. A Roomba! The massive raid. Thank you very much. Welcome in, Arumba viewers. If you don't know Arumba, he is awesome. Strategy game streamer plays a lot of Europa Universalis. I never know if it's Universalis or Universalis. Day, I think so. 23 months. I'm going to show you do. Highly recommend checking out his channel. Has been playing a bit of Slay the Spire recently, too. Also, is it Europa or Europa? Is it Europa Universalis? I feel like if you were from, like, a particular place in the world, that's how you'd say it. Scarecrow links the 21 months. We are trying to kill 100 hearts in 30 days here on this channel. This will be the fourth time that I've done this, I think. Smart monies on success, but you never count the spire out. You're always surprised when somebody raids and then I say their life story. I've known Arumba for a few years now, I think. The strategy games corner of Twitch is not that large a place. Maybe I should have gotten the hand of greed back. Maybe that would have been like mm, very obviously much, much better. I don't know. Is 20 gold worth two health right now? Maybe just draw it here. It was actually 4 health. I think that's closer than I was suggesting it was, actually. self repair is interesting, because I do have Heat Sinks and Mummified Hand, but I also have 5 Bites. So it's like... Yeah, it's interesting. I don't think I'll go for it. I don't hate Consume. I have the 1 Capacitor. Hodgepodge thanks for the year! Bomo show to you too. Rollbacks thanks for the three months. If consume was upgraded, I wouldn't think for a second. I would definitely take consume if it were upgraded. It is not though, so. If I took it, it might be my best upgrade. Probably. Cool-headed is doing a lot of work in this deck. 
Doing a lot of work in the champ fight to you. Yeah, I think probably because of the champ fight I should take this. Because setting up like five frost orbs is pretty difficult, but setting up one frost orb and making it locked for a lot is easier. Darlock, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Maybe I should try Europa Universalis one day. I've played it before. Games like that are a bit too freeform for me. I appreciate it when a game tells me exactly what I'm meant to do and I can finish doing it in like ideally under two hours. I don't know if I make this lightning orb. It's like questionable. I think I don't. Lockets, thanks for the 34 months. Appreciate it. Any frost orbs in my deck? Nope. Seek to find my cool headed. Got him. Actually, unironically, got him though. Oh, it's in my discard pile. Right. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm very good at this game. So I'm just gonna bite back up to full health here. One of the reasons that bite is good here is that uh, I have the ability to scale block to outblock enemies. And after I do that, I can use bites to get a lot of health back. a huge deal because I get three quarters of my missing health back at the end of the act, but it does something. It's better than not doing it. Charms' luck is insane. You know what they say about people who are very, very lucky? They say, well, probably they're just cheating. That's why they're better than me. I'm pretty sure what that. I think I read that on Reddit or something. It's a Reddit thing, right? I'm going to take Echo Form. Seems good. Reddit told you that all the streamers were cheating. How did they find out? It's like impressive that they would, were able to work that out. Hermit or I? Hermit makes boot sequence slightly better. I think I like 
pyramid more. It makes it easy to put Core Surge and Bias Cog together, which feels like it wins us the game. Helps us stall to bite back up to full health on fights as well. Snakewide puts Echo Form in play faster, which is very real. Like, that's absolutely a big deal. But the problem with Snakewide is that a lot of the time, our first time through the deck, we don't manage to play all of our powers. And this deck gets to a point where it stops taking damage once it's played all of its powers, basically. So if we fail to do that, we keep taking damage for a lot longer. The mods give him winning seeds. The game actually gives me winning seeds. I click new run, and it's like, okay, here you go. And then I win. We have to go this way. No store, one campfire. It's a good moment to have bites in my deck. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's rough. And this is immediately not the best possible type of fight for us, because with Pyramid we end up not being able to discard our attacks, but we'll be okay. We got a Dark Orb. Oh, they're going to kill me. That's rude. Would I take Bites IRL? Uh, I don't know what that means. Making me hesitant to say yes. How many strikes do I have IRL? Yeah, I mean, that's the right question to be asking, actually. If I have more than three strikes IRL, I would probably take bites, I guess. Another consume. There's also a steam barrier here, which I don't know about. The card that I really want is like turbo more than steam barrier. I'm very... What's the opposite of good? Bad. Very bad at blocking. I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna trust that we can find things that are just better than that. the easiest game I've ever played. Gosh, so easy. Why am I dying? This is unlucky. There isn't really a line here, I don't think. I guess that one's okay. I 
Can you pay Jorbs to backseat your game for a minute? Interesting question. This is rough. I think it's reinforced body. That's rough. Frost Orb's sort of good here. Sort of only have the one. But reinforced body is just, I think it's just too good, especially with echo form. I'm dying, says Jorbs, as he takes one damage. Well, was I wrong? Sounds like I was right, that's all I'm saying. played finesse yet, but I imagine this turn may force my hand, as it were. Never mind, we're fine. I'm just gonna keep finesse as my mascot for this fight. The backseaters of backseaters are grammar slash spelling correctors. It actually upset me to read that comment. Which probably means that you're right. Echo form, no. Not like this. Oh, channel moderation is backseat. Backseating? Hmm. I don't think you're allowed to say that about the mods. I don't know. I would have to ask their permission before endorsing such a comment. Imagine proofreading the dictionary. Imagine. So this gets back my Frost Orb or my Reinforced Body, which is good enough for me. It also gets back Consume. Matters sometimes. Yikes. This Reinforced Body has uh, been a very good pickup so far. Have I seen the alignment chart for block cards? I saw that. We made better alignment charts for block charts. For block cards in my Discord. Like years ago. As usual, Jorbs is centuries ahead. I enjoyed that one movie about the dictionary. The Professor and the Madman, right? I did not expect a movie about a dictionary to be quite so interesting. about the dictionary, you just couldn't find words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do I do this to myself? Years from now, some doctor is going to have to, like, study me to work out what's wrong with me. 
maybe like 60 or something. It's like no longer a functioning human. They are going to really struggle to understand <laughs> what has happened <laughs> to my poor brain. I watched that Lifetime movie about that woman <sighs> once or twice, I think. Hey, Micro. It's really disappointing how many movies are just the same movie as the last one you watched. Like, that happens so often. I guess I have nowhere to spend a thousand gold. So the blue candle, while sort of cool, is perhaps not relevant here. There aren't that many movies where it's like, oh yeah, this is like a new thing. Baby Driver was a good one. Baby Driver wasn't even a new thing, it just did the old thing a way that was cool. Like, that's all I need now. That's the worst part of it, I'm so easy to please. I'm not sure I got the hype for Knives Out. Knives Out seemed to be Daniel Craig enjoying doing a funny accent, and other than that, I'm not sure that I got anything else out of watching it. Are even easier to please? You've seen the same guy kill the heart hundreds of times, but every time, every time, that I defeat the heart, we talk about a different thing, like my favorite fruit, for example. Is it dead? It's about to be. Kathy Grums, thanks for the 18 months. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, an incense burner. That's a good floor. An unupgraded reinforced body or a cold snap? Better be the cold snap, get a second frost orb. Sort of all we need. Don't need money. Okay, next turn can be pretty bad. Clue is free on YouTube. That is a good movie. It's a very bad movie. God, it's good. <laughs> it is a very bad, very good movie. One of the best bad movies. 45. Dodgeball? Hmm, I don't know. I think Dodgeball is just Anchorman. We should make a alignment chart for movies which are the same movie. Like, Dodgeball is a... 
It's like a lawful neutral version of Anchorman or something. Incense Burner wants to be on four, I think. Pretty sure four. Four should make us serviceable in the Reptomancer fight. Why did I make a Lightning Orb? Eh, it doesn't matter, it's fine. How do I kill on four? Especially now that I've made a lightning arm. Oh, it's actually not fine. I've made this very difficult for myself. Whoops. So, how much thorns damage does it take? Don't want to kill it next turn anyway. Hey, would you bow? Seventeen plus seventeen plus seventeen is fifty-one, but then it takes thorns damage. Four. That's twelve left. That has five left. So we just have to go. Well, we have the thorns, and then we also have the. Yeah, okay, we're good. Nice! We did it! GG, my friend. Nemesis. Cool headed. Don't hate it. Sort of want to upgrade Echo Form. Because I have a decent amount of card draw and I have no like turbo or anything. So it's pretty easy for me to draw it at a time where I can't play it. Also, I have an incense burner, which means that there is actually a turn every six turns where it's very easy to play it. So a couple of big reasons for that. On the other hand, upgrading Biased Cog is sort of a no-brainer. Upgrading Loop is very good. And Recalling is also fine. I want to Recall. Okay, it is Reptomancer first. So because of where I put Incense Burner, I don't have to worry about these two daggers. I can just hold on to my damage. To deal with the two new ones. We'll do this. A lot of bites. Okay, start of the fight's under control. I didn't get any scaling down yet, though.
Butterfly effect had multiple endings. That's interesting. It's weird that they thought that they could have multiple good endings when they couldn't even have one good ending. Oh. Got him. Oh, one of the endings was actually good? Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> Unlucky. I just couldn't believe he was a butterfly the entire time. Like, it didn't seem like he was a butterfly for most of the movie, and then boom. I don't remember what my favorite clue ending was. In a while. I had a month to prepare, could I beat the heart IRL? Hmm. This sounds like a worthy challenge. What is the win condition exactly? Like. I could beat Superman in a fight if I had a month to prepare. Probably, yeah. I think the chances are that Kryptonite listed on eBay is real Kryptonite. Like, the chance is higher than zero, I think. But it's lower than like one in a trillion. <laughs> it's significantly lower than one in a trillion. Nice of the spire to just give me frost orbs every floor. Hmm. I didn't really have anything that was worth bottling anyway, I guess. You go crazy while I still call you Superman. No. What does that apply about their relationship so far? Is the singer meant to actually be Superman? The other day you heard someone refer to a 75% coin flub. Sort of makes sense. I mean, I immediately understand what that means.
Ouch. It's okay, we have bites for this. Ow. Ooh, that's not better. Alright, we're down 13 health. That is another cool headed. Sure, I really need a turbo. Did he get Hand of Greed? You can work this out. I know that you can. Oh, is that where we're up to on YouTube? That was a long time ago. Someone explained to me that it was impossible to lose his defect if you just took turbo every time. Which honestly might be right. It would be nice to draw any focus whatsoever. Nope. What am I going to do when the YouTube videos catch up and overtake my Twitch stream and I start posting videos in the future? I'm going to study them and become a stronger Slay the Spire player. Are set up. Now we just bite back to full health. Oh, and then at the end of doing that, I can Hand of Greed. Sweet. We could totally do YouTube Jorbs attempts 100 heart kills in 30 days, and it would just be uploading 100 heart kills in 30 days. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I should have played Zap before consume. Just to get it out of my hand, you know. If it's YouTube jobs, you think it should be three days? Nah. YouTube jobs couldn't do that. I 
only need seven more health because I do also have a blood vial. So we're almost there. And then all that's left is to put incense burner on the right number, which is... I think it's just four again. Which means I'm waiting for five turns here. Okay, let's wait. How many times am I going to get offered echo form? heart wins at the same time. 100 heart kill simul, blindfolded. Problem with taking more holograms is they're getting in the way of drawing biased cog and core surge at the moment. And those are sort of important things to draw, so I gotta skip there. I assume secret technique does something useful. Not sure what it is yet. Consume, maybe? Maybe. Elecrum. Drops wins. So the only thing left to do in this fight is make sure I don't take a curse and put incense burner on the right number. It's pretty easy to do with dual cast. Dual cast is good at putting incense burner on the right number. Although I could use a hologram or two orb channels. How would defect's voice be? I think defect is the strong silent type. John Unborn, hello. Good to see you. And what is the silent? The less strong silent type? The flexible silent type? Ironclad also doesn't speak. But strangely is very loud. Just in other ways. I think I'm okay with taking an FTL here. The thing it does that's mostly relevant is lets me turn against um, Act 4 Elites. he do it? How does he do it? I 
All right. This is starting to look very familiar. This is what it looks like right before I kill Nemesis. I kill this turn. Nope. Wait, maybe. We'll wait. The, like, simplest way to do this really is to just use attacks and not channel a damage orb. Makes it so I don't have to think at all, really. It's a weakened one, so... Three or four, probably, for instance, Burner. That's correct, Festo Obeliscus, but I'm into it. I'm gonna go for a three on Incense Burner. If I have a personal top ten of situations, you've pulled myself out of the jaws of defeat. No, humans are very bad at having lists of stuff like that that are longer than like three. The difficult thing to do. Remember lots of things that are the same sort of category of thing. If my incense burner lines up right against the heart, we just can't take damage for the first four turns now. It's sort of cool. If it lines up wrong, we take 67 and die, but... <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> Upside down. Um, hmm. Should keep in mind that we're going to deal at three when that happens as well, so it's not the end of the world, really. Electrodynamics or stack? Hmm. Stack seems pretty powerful here. Right? Seems like it's blocking for a very large number. So I will, I think, upgrade the biased cog, and we're just going to not screw up the echo form. Eh, really though? I'm gonna upgrade echo form. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade up echo form. I don't think I need more focus. But I do think I need Echo Form to successfully go into play. Not the best. Definitely not the best. Looks like I have enough damage here, though. And I got the multi-attack on the right turn as well. Good 
by enlightenment. You have served me well. Tori has prevented t 13 damage already. That's pretty... That's pretty normal for Tori. This relic is... Maybe not the best relic in the game. Cognition is from uh, Cognosco, which is a Latin word meaning I know. True story. Cognition is not from Cognosco. Oh. All them. Ignore me. Costco, or perhaps Kotsko. I'm waiting incredibly patiently to draw the actual focus here. We're gonna get there eventually. In the meanwhile, we'll just continue accidentally killing Awakened One. Sort of dropped out of college so that I didn't have to. <laughs> didn't have to know the roots of all of these words. It's okay though, it's fun. Maybe. Okay, it looks like we're winning. Shrubs hates knowledge. True. As I studying Latin, I studied the classics once upon a time. I think Latin was my favorite of the languages. Sanskrit's pretty cool. Very posh. Yeah. You use consume when you have one orb. You do go down to zero orbs. Hey honey, thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Mission is actually not a real word. Makes sense. Did my second dual cast just not play? Hold on. Did that just happen? <laughs> 
Can you not play dual cast on a lightning orb? What? Why didn't my second dual cast play? That doesn't make any sense. That's an actual bug, I'm pretty sure. That's like an actual bug that I haven't seen before. Can't evoke a lightning orb there? What would have happened if I played cool headed though? The lightning orb would have evoked, right? I don't buy it. <laughs> I think that was a bug. Kill you. Why won't you die? There are a lot of voids in my draw pile right now. I'll do this. Encrypted Joe. It's been going okay. I have to not only defeat Awakened One, but I have to do it while looking at the Enlightenment in my hand and feeling endless shame. Why did I take this card for this fight? Nobody's sure. Didn't matter in any way. There, now it's gone. If you target something with a card and then the thing dies, it doesn't play a second time. That's not a bug. That's because there's nothing for your card to hit the second time, so it can't play. But dual cast can be played. Dual cast can be played with a lightning orb in front, one awakened, one is dead. I'm almost 100% sure that that's true. So... It doesn't make sense that the game didn't play it there. Go for a kill in two from here. Should be doable. And if it's not, it'll just have to be very awkward. Oh yeah, it's dead. I have 480 gold. Oh, there's another boss fight? <clears throat> okay, I knew that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not surprised, because I totally knew that. This is me not being surprised at all. Um, okay. Well, thanks, Luap. You can check to see if you're banned by trying to comment on the channel. I just cash in on Biased Cog here. Does not seem necessary to play Echo Form first. forward to you killing Time Eater using bronze skills. 
I know I am. Does this do enough damage for the heart? Uh, yeah. Also, we have like time before the heart fight for it to improve, but mostly just, yeah, it does. Probably doesn't really matter. Child thinks the prime. Vaccinated in your arm is dying. I am happy to hear that and also sad to hear that. What would the German word for that be? I guess we just say bittersweet in English, don't we? I guess we just have an English word for that. Yeah, but that's boring. Have to wait until incense burners at four again. The German word is the direct translation. Bitter. I don't know what those letters are. <laughs> I'm sorry. No clue. <laughs> All right, friend time eater. You don't die this turn. Appreciate it. GG time meter. All right, let's see how the Act Four elites are. We got the incense burner to help. Our deck is pretty slow though. Like turn three is sort of problematic. This one. Defect could get feed. How does a defect feed? You just eat stuff. Probably. That would be my guess. This is not a very difficult store to navigate, is it? I am going to take horn cleat and a loop. And that's it. I guess I could take panache over horn cleat. Since I have incense burner anyway. Removing a card seems good, though. Ah. 
If I take Horn Cleat, I end up wanting Incense Burner on three instead of four. Which is fine. I don't know. There's nothing like super wrong with that or anything. Panache lets me kill the Act Four Elites a little bit better. I'm pretty bad at killing them. Let's see how this goes. Start. Very good start. So next turn's covered, and then the turn after that I have Echo Form Reinforced Body. And then the next time I'm gonna have double stack. Yeah, this is going very well. Forest Bunny magically bottled, usually. Hmm. Guess I'm okay with this. But I have reinforced body IRL. I certainly do. Certainly do. Frost orbs, yep. It's not really block far enough. That'll do. We got strength down twice, which is really nice. Nice little bonus there. Um, don't want to end the fight for a little bit here. I want five turns between now and the end of the fight, which is a long time. Message got deleted so fast that I never even saw the message. It was just message deleted. Rip. <laughs> Feels bad. So, sorry, sorry to hear that. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I want to kill him next turn. Can I do that? Is this enough? Through the shield? Probably. Certainly, definitely, yes, yes. A white stone. I'm gonna take last cog. Alrighty. Let's hope for the right. Order of attacks here. I think it makes sense to do this, even though I have tungsten rod. I think it's fine. I'll probably do this at the start of the turn. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. That should be fast enough. And we got this in the right order. Sweet. Always lucky. You know how it goes. I just need to draw any focus. That is focus. Sec. I just need to kill it. Somehow my incense burner RNG always lines up perfectly. Does it? Does it? I've had some bad incense burner RNG in my life. Let me tell you. A lightning orb, the beginning of the end for the heart. Getting zap. Yep, getting zap. Do I want to double play that next turn or just play it once here? Just play it once. Oh. Next turn. Let's 
It's nice to check in with the heart. See how it's doing. Have a heart to heart, yeah. Right. It's forty four. I want to play another today. 